It's finally time for me to share the most recent sketchbook I've been working on, and I'm very excited to do so. I always really like doing sketchbook tours because it's a very nice way to show a lot of the art that I either forget to share on Instagram, don't share on Instagram, haven't shown on YouTube, etc. And I personally really like watching sketchbook tour videos, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. This is an Arteza watercolor sketchbook. It is, I believe it's the like 8 by 11, there's minimal amounts of inches between those. It's like an 8.5 by 11 point something. It's about an 8 by 11 the sketchbook. It comes with a fabric cover, uh, an elastic band to keep it shut, as well as a little red ribbon to mark your place where you are. So I really like the external details of this sketchbook, but when it comes to the paper, I have very mixed feelings like I did with my last sketchbook, but this one for completely different reasons. So pros of this paper, it holds water really, really well. It feels nice. Is that it? <laughs> Cons of the sketchbook, which I learned over time. I did an initial review when I first got this sketchbook, but obviously I only did a couple pages worth of art on it. I didn't really get a full feel of how this sketchbook works, but like I have, I have feelings about the sketchbook. It First and foremost, I've mentioned before, every other spread alternates between smoothed and textured paper, which is okay, I got used to it eventually, it was fine, but this paper, especially the smooth sides, it just did not want any washi tape on it, it did not want any masking fluid on it, because if you peeled it off, it ripped so, so easily. And like, the feel of this paper was very strange. It's not cotton paper, but it has like a fabric feel to it, and that is most present if you use kneaded erasers on this paper because while it does erase it also picks up like fibers off of the surface of the paper so i just got to the point where i couldn't use a kneaded eraser on this paper because it was taking off fibers from the surface of the paper which was super strange and it was just kind of clogging up the kneaded eraser with all the fibers? I, I don't know what else to call them, but it was just very strange to work with. I also noticed while this paper holds watercolor really well, it holds gouache really well, and I'm sure it obviously would hold acrylics really well, it feels like this paper really desaturated my colors. Like, I feel like my washes were very pretty, very vibrant, and when they went down on this paper, it just didn't, it didn't do it, you know? It just wasn't my favorite. And then on top of that, this paper doesn't lift watercolors very well at all. It starts to shred before it really starts to lift watercolors, which isn't a huge deal if you're accustomed to that. I only ran into one situation where I was really trying to lift color and it just was not having it. It was just eating away at the paper. And because it has like that like fabric-y feeling to it almost, it really did just kind of pill in such a such an undesirable way. Not that any kind of pilling on sketchbook paper is good, but I think those pretty much cover my feelings on this sketchbook. I did really enjoy working with this size of sketchbook. It's not too many pages, so it wasn't the most intimidating in terms of like amount of pages within the sketchbook. It was a larger size, but I managed to work with that. My last sketchbook was a lot smaller, so I was really excited to move on to something bigger, but it was just kind of a weird experience. But like I said, I did really enjoy working in this sketchbook. It was just a weird experience at some points in time, but as far as the drawings within the sketchbook, by now you probably know I don't do super talkative sketchbook tours. I do just flip throughs with voiceover on top, but for the most part, this sketchbook has a lot of Naruto fan art in it because um, I, I would say I'm out of my Naruto phase, but it's still going, man. <laughs> I got really, really into Naruto. If this is my first video you've ever watched, I've been watching Naruto lately and it has, it has taken over my life and there's so much Naruto fan art in here. Pretty much like the majority of the time I'm doing original art, it tends to be art snacks, so you get to see that once a month, but I've just been drawing a lot of Naruto lately. I'm sort of diffusing that with other things now, but this sketchbook primarily is just like all Naruto art. And something I tried to do within this sketchbook is only use this sketchbook until I finished it. And I obviously finished this sketchbook now, but now I've turned into this chaotic mess and I currently have like three ongoing sketchbooks, which is an absolute nightmare because then it takes me forever to finish a single one if I'm working on three at once. So I've abandoned all my morals and I'm currently working on a watercolor sketchbook, a marker sketchbook, technically two marker sketchbooks, but I, I haven't touched one in a really long time. 
And then a mixed media sketchbook. So I have a lot going on sketchbook wise now. I don't know when I'm gonna finish my next sketchbook, but I'm really happy with this one as a whole. I feel like this, and I said this I think for my last few sketchbooks, I feel like this is the most least, most least pressure. The least pressure, the, the, I don't know how to word it. I, I did not feel pressured at all in this sketchbook. It was the most least pressured sketchbook. Does that make sense? No, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. It just, it was a very nice place for me to experiment, especially since I didn't feel like the paper was anything extravagant because I had issues with it. It was just such a nice place to experiment and try new things and not feel bad about making art that I didn't like and art that I wasn't proud of because like, it was just a very nice environment sketchbook for me to create in so i really really enjoyed working in this sketchbook i tried so many different things i played around with not a ton of mediums in this sketchbook solely because it is watercolor paper so i did not dare use uh, alcohol markers on this paper i tried using my water-based tombow dual brush pens on this paper at the very beginning of the sketchbook but I think it was just the surface of the sketchbook didn't take it, so when you started layering more than a couple layers with the water-based pens, it started to pill on the paper, and from there I was like, I'm not even gonna play those games, I'm not even gonna really try to use this in the sketchbook because I do not want bad things to happen. So I avoided that one entirely, but I really enjoy a lot of the art in this sketchbook. Obviously there's gonna be pages and instances where it's art that I'm not a fan of, and that happens in sketchbooks, and that's okay, because it's impossible to have a good art day every single day. It's just how it is. And even though I did actually struggle quite a bit in using the sketchbook in terms of the paper, I do have another one of these Arteza Waters color sketchbooks in this size, and I think I will end up using it in the near future. I have a bunch of sketchbooks that I want to work on beforehand, but even though I had all the difficulties with this paper, I think I'll end up picking up my other one within the next year and hopefully getting that finished in the next year and a half? Two years? We'll see. But like I said, I'm working on like three other sketchbooks right now, so obviously there'll, there'll be another sketchbook tour in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed the surplus, absolute surplus of Naruto fan art that was in this sketchbook because there was so much in this sketchbook. And if you're interested, I do have a playlist on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description box below that has a bunch of other sketchbook tours for the past couple years on my channel. So like I said, if you're interested in that, if you want to watch some more of my sketchbook tours, link will be in the description box below, or you can go to my channel, whatever works best for you. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.